Hello, writers. It's Mrs. Tamura, and I'm back, ready to do the beginning of my tacky story. So that's what we're going to do today. You need to make sure you have your CLAPS graphic organizer and some story paper to write on. Remember, we are using the story paper that looks like this. We are not writing in our journal. All right, so today I have to think about the beginning of my story. So I've already had my story starter, and mine was Valentine's Day came to the nice icy land. Now I need to continue my story. I think today I'm going to talk about the action. What are my characters doing in the story? To give the reader a little bit of a background of what my story is about. All right, I'm going to do that right now, and I want you to watch. So here we go. Okay, writers, you need to make sure that you have your story starter that's been written down, and you also want to make sure you have your claps organizer, a pencil, and the colors that we need for writing, green, red, yellow, purple, blue, and pink. I'm looking at the action part of my graphic organizer. Tacky and his companions are making valentines, so that's where I'm going to start in my story. All right, my first sentence, all of the penguins were excited. I'm going to count how many words are in that sentence. All of the penguins were excited. That's six words. So I'm going to start with the word all. All is a sight word. Of is a sight word. The is a sight word. Penguins is a word I can find in my tacky story. So I'm using that story to help me spell the word penguins. If you want to use my writing to help you, you can do that too. Were is a sight word. Excited. I'm going to sound that word out. X -s -i -t. Two letters we learn say ed. E D. Now I have to make sure I have six words in this sentence. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to end my sentence with an exclamation mark. My next sentence is going to be oh, Tacky's famous phrase that he always says. What's happening? So I need to use quotation marks. Then I need to start my sentence with an uppercase W. What's happening is something that I can take from the tacky story. So if you want to use these words in your writing, you can take it from my writing too. What's happening? He's asking a question. So I'm going to end that with a question mark. He finishes talking, so I'm going to use my quotation marks. And now I'm going to use the word shouted. I'm going to sound it out. Shh. Out is a sight word, so I know how to spell that. And we learned what two letters say ed. E-D. Tacky is a proper noun, so I need to make sure I start with a pink and uppercase letter. I know how to spell tacky. It's on my organizer. And I'm going to end my sentence with a period to tell the reader to stop. Well, on my organizer, the action was they're making valentines. So that's what my sentence is going to be. We are making valentines. So his companions are talking, so I need quotation marks. In uppercase W, R is a sight word, make is a sight word. So I'm just going to add ing at the end. Valentines, I'm going to take that from my Valentine word list. So that's how I know how to spell that word. He finishes talking after the word Valentines. So I need to use a comma and then my quotation marks. Said is a sight word. His I'm going to use companions. That's a, a word they use in the story, and that's on my graphic organizer, so I know how to spell it. Companions is a great purple word. Instead of saying friends or pal, I can say companions. So I'm going to underline it in purple. Now I need to make sure I name his companions because the reader doesn't know his companions' names. So I need my pink because they're proper nouns. Goodly. I need an uppercase L for the word lovely because that's his name. Angel needs an uppercase A. Neatly needs an uppercase N. And is a sight word. P 
perfect needs an uppercase P because it's a proper noun. If you want to use my writing to help you spell their names, you can do that. Let me reread this sentence. We are making Valentine's, said his companions. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect. Oh my goodness, I need to end my sentence with a period. But I also notice that I'm making a list. So I need my yellow crayon and I'm going to put commas in between each name. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect. Okay, I need a new piece of paper because I've done a lot of writing. All right, I'm going to start with my quotation marks, my uppercase C, and my sentence. Can I make is a sight word, some is a sight word, two is a sight word. I'm asking a question, so I need a question mark. And then my character stops talking, so I need my quotation marks. A, sk, SK says sk. What says t? Hmm, it already happened. Two letters, E, D. Tacky is a proper noun, so I need to make sure his name is uppercase and in pink. And then I'm going to end my sentence with a period. I have a few more sentences to write, so I'm going to do that now and show you in a bit. All right, writers, now it's your turn. You are going to write the beginning of your story. I want to share with you the entire beginning of my story. Are you ready? I also drew a picture to go with it. We'll talk about that in a minute. Valentine's Day came to the nice icy land. All of the penguins were excited. What's happening? shouted Tacky. We are making Valentine's, said his companions. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect. Can I make some too? asked Tacky. Yes, you just have to be creative, they said. I am definitely creative, Tacky said. So that's the beginning of my story. Today you are going to use your claps organizer to help you write the beginning of your story. Think about the characters that are in your story and the action. What are your characters doing? And make sure you remember the important things that are in a picture. True colors, close-up details, a setting, and my labels today were just the first letter of each name. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect. And then I drew some Valentine hearts in there as an extra detail so the reader really knows that they're getting ready to celebrate Valentine's Day. Do you see the close-up details on Pac Tacky's shirt? The flowers with his purple bow tie? So it's important to include those close-up details. Okay, writers, I hope you enjoy writing the beginning, and I can't wait to read it. I'll see you soon.